So in this video, we'll take a look at three different ways to use parameters in your system. Uh, the first way is global parameters. So a global parameter is something that can be implemented on the highest level of your model, and you can use this parameter through components in your entire model. So we'll click on this icon here to go over to the parameters window. And here we can define a parameter. So for our slider crank model, I'll define a parameter K, which will be the damping on that revolute joint. You can set a physical meaning of the parameter by using the type drop-down menu, which will allow you to also choose appropriate units. So we set our default value just as one for an example. This will be the uh, rotational damping. That will be our description of what we're doing. So I enter this and I can go back now to my main system level model. And you can see that K now appears as a parameter on the inspector tab on the right. I can click on uh, my components and I can set that parameter to K. And as I do this, now when I simulate the model, I can see that there's, uh, there's some damping involved here. So another way that I can set my parameters is by using parameters within subsystems. So each of these here are links on the controlled slider crank, and you can see there's already a parameter L involved. Now that was created by entering into the subsystem and doing that same process as I would to create a global parameter. So when I click on that same icon in the subsystem view, I can see that I've already defined a parameter named L, and I've given it a default value, a description, and a type. And then when I come back to the top level of my model, I can click on these subsystems and see that I have this parameter L that I can change. And I can change that for each subsystem. Within that, you can see I've used L as a way to set the X offset of uh, my outboard frame. Now the third way to create uh, some parameters is to create a parameter block. So if I click on this button here, I can drag out a block. And this is a parameter block which functions in a similar way to the other two methods I showed. It's just a means of grouping related parameters into one place. If I double click on this, I have the same sort of window. Now I can go in here and I can start to specify other parameters uh, for anything I want. Uh, but the benefit of having one of these blocks is that I can copy and paste this block and move it between models, uh, in between subsystems. So this is really when I have parameters that I know I'll be using in certain locations, but maybe not all locations. And I can bring those parameters into different levels of the same model or different models. And also to group related parameters into one place. 